What if I could tell you how to get a low interest rate today in 2023 and 2024? Well, guess what? There's a way to do it. Just stick here and we'll tell you how to do it. So you're looking to buy a property right now and you don't want to pay the seven and a half, eight percent interest rates and who knows where they're going to go by the end of this video. It is crazy right now, I understand and everybody's in sticker shock. Those payment plans have went well above where we all wanted to be. So what can you do to actually get a low interest rate? Well, a couple of different things you can do. First of all, you could go get an adjustable rate mortgage. I'm not really gonna suggest that for a lot of people because at the end of that term, the rates are gonna increase. Now, hopefully the rates have decreased in the whole market so you can refinance and you're back at square one. That's one way to do it. Another thing you can actually do is go find properties who have assumable loans. Yes, you heard me right. There are people who are selling their properties right now, as crazy as it is, that are sitting at that three and a half, four, five percent interest rate, and you could just go take over their whole mortgage. How does that work? Well, good news and bad news is, yes, you can take that over, but the bad news is you're gonna have to use the exact same lender and that product, AKA the loan's gonna have to qualify to be assumable. So what types of loans are actually assumable loans? First of all, most conventional loans aren't assumable loans. So it's mostly government backed loans is the easy way to actually think about it. So you've got USDA, FHA, and VA loans. Right now we have a property that we've got listed in West Davidson area that is an assumable loan. I think it's like at three and a quarter. The payment off of that house right now, if you just take over that, if you're a veteran, saves the somebody about $400 a month. And it's literally almost at the exact purchase price that they're asking for. They're not looking to make any money. They just want to move out of the house. They're getting married, want to go somewhere else. So if you are looking for a property, go find ones that have these. Most listing agents aren't even advertising that the property has an assumable loan off of this. So if you're thinking about selling your property, make sure that you talk to your agent. Say, hey, is that something that we can advertise? Maybe we can make a little bit more money or maybe we can drive a little bit more traffic if they could assume the loan. Now, what are the downfalls of actually assuming a loan? There's a couple. First of all, like I said before, you've got to go through the bank that has the original loan note. So if they were at Wells Fargo, you've got to go get approved at Wells Fargo to assume that loan. The next problem that you're gonna have is that the equity in the property, you can't roll over into a new loan. So let's just say that they have a mortgage for $300,000 and they're asking $400,000 for the house. Well, yes, you can assume that $300,000 loan, but you're gonna have to pay all that difference of the extra $100,000 out of pocket. I would highly suggest be able to find some other cash, whether it's your 401k, your retirement uh, savings, things like that and go pay the difference right there. Cause you can always later on in life refinance out and have a second mortgage that might have a little bit higher interest rate. But wouldn't it be nice to only be paying seven and a half percent interest on a hundred thousand dollars versus seven and a half percent interest on four hundred thousand dollars. I don't know the math because I'm not a lender. I am a broker. This is what we do. We sell houses. I don't sell you the mortgage with it. I'm just trying to help everybody out here. So again, anything that is a VA loan, FHA loan, USDA loan, most of those are assumable loans. If you see one of those, talk to your realtor and see if you could actually take over those payments. It might be well worth it for you just to go ahead and fork it out, get it over with and save multiple hundred dollars a month in interest payments right now. If none of those options work for you and you're still looking for a property, then I would really suggest looking at seeing what you can afford right now. And yes, the interest rates are probably going to change, but don't plan on that. So many people are saying right now, marry the house, date the rate. I get it. But me personally, I don't know if the interest rates are going to go to 10%, 12%, whatnot. I'm going to give you a little bit of different knowledge off of this. If you can't afford the 8%, 7.5% interest rate that's going on right now, you probably shouldn't buy a house. Shocker, hear from a realtor first. So go find you an assumable loan. It'll help you out. A little bit more legwork, but you can get you into a property way cheaper.